Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on what makes Oblivion City special. And today, I want to talk about Shadenhall. Now, Shadenhall is my favorite city uh, in the game. I, I think it's the prettiest looking and the most kind of... Well, not I, I don't think it's the most stylized one. I think that has to go to Bruma, honestly. Bruma is the most stylized, or Anvil, other than the Imperial City. Bruma and Anvil are kind of way more stylized, and Leywin, than Shadenhall, but... I like Shaden Hall. I think it's pretty and very fun, very mystical looking uh, compared to the other cities. But we're going to talk about what shade makes Shaden Hall really, really special. And the thing that jumps out to, I think, anyone who has played a lot of Oblivion is it's the headquarters of the Dark Brotherhood. They headquarters there. And you have to go there to go to the sanctuary and get your Dark Brotherhood quest. And there's this large abandoned building. And people actually talk about the large abandoned building and how the Count doesn't even... And the guards don't even think it exists. They don't talk about it. So there's a lot of cool quests in Shaden Hall. One of my favorite quests is in Shaden Hall, which is you go inside a guy's painting to rescue him. Because he has this magical breast that lets him go inside of paintings and paint them. And a thief stole it, went in the painting, and, you know, it's really stylized. You know, it's just, it looks like the Shaden Hall wilderness, except that it's all painted, you know, so it's imperfect. There's painted trolls. And at the very end of this painting, you find these dunes and hills that are just paint canvas. I mean, it looks like a desert until you realize it's just paint canvas. So that's a pretty cool quest. There's another quest where there's a drunken guy who you feel really bad for and he lost his house and he, he ends up just getting killed by the guards. So that kind of sucks. There's also, I believe that it's Shaden Hall that this takes place in. I might be wrong about that, but it's either Shaden Hall or Skingrad, where there's a, the coolest, in my opinion, one of the coolest Dark Brotherhood quests, it's called Who Done It. And what happens is you get locked in a house with five people, and you have to murder all of them, but you have to murder them uh, for the bonus when no one else is looking to try to keep them on their toes and who the murderer is, you know? So you can just murder them, but if you do it to where they don't know you're the murderer until there's one guy standing, then you get a bonus. And it's a really cool quest because you're locked in there trying to find a key, and whoever wins the key gets, they win the manor, and you win the manor. So, you know, that's kind of cool. I really, really like that quest. I like the house. Man, the house, I think, is a very, very cool house. It's a little bit more, the silverware and cutlery and stuff, a little bit more cheaper than you would expect for a Shaden Hall house. But it offers a lot of, the thing that I like about it is it offers a lot of storage, but like it's in this one area. So if you want to store a lot of things, you can store them all in one area. You don't have to run around your house to keep it organized. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, other than that, I mean the Shaden Hall, Hall Mages Guild uh, area is there. It, the quest for that is whatever. You know, the Fighter's Guild is there. Um, there's a little bit more stores than I think you would expect for a city. Um, it's also got a river in it, and that's kind of cool. But um, I think, you know, Shaden Hall, I don't think is, like, the coolest city. I think that if if, it, if the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary wasn't there, I think Shaden Hall would be really not an, an important city. It really wouldn't be that important. It's just there. The area around it, too, I hate exploring the area around it. It's so, like, it's green and pretty, but all the hills there, eh. A lot of hills. Way too many hills for me. Um, it's also kind of close to Dive Rock, too. So, I mean, if you want to go to Dive Rock, go from Shaden Hall. There's also a fort next to Shaden Hall that um, the guy, Lucian, the Dark Brotherhood guy uses as kind of like his hideout, so you can get constantly respawning five poison apples there. So there's that, but I mean, Shaden Hall, it looks cool. It's not as interesting as you would think it would be, but nonetheless, the Dark Brotherhood is there, so that I feel like if they had more, Shaden Hall would definitely be way more of an important city than, in, than the other ones. So that's really it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, Feel free to leave a comment. What is your favorite city? What do you like the most about Shaden Hall? Go ahead and tell me that in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.